Okay, let's send the emergency message to the spaceships in our proximity. Follow me. Hello, my name is Veldrin and welcome back to Shadowgrounds. Before we follow her, let's just quickly loot everything that is here to loot. And let's also get the law pieces, or why not? There shouldn't be too many of them, I think three in total. This is a locked area with a flamethrower behind it. We're going to need a keycard for that. But we already have a flamethrower also, so it's only going to be a, a bit of ammunition. Damn, the main power is down. I cannot establish a connection to the ISER comm satellite system. I need you to go and turn on the backup generator. It's to the north. Alright, let's head north then, I guess. How do I get out of here? Ah, that's actually a door, alright. Well, let me just quickly loot this little building over here. So it's nice to be able to restock. Oh, we've got lots of shotgun uh, ammunition as well as flamethrowers. So, where in the north is? That's not north, woman. Oh well. I have no idea why you just stood there. But I'm cool with that. Uh, if I remember correctly, this little area is a trap. Yep. Should be more. That's probably it. Alright, can we get an upgrade? Eleven. I wouldn't mind getting the fuel trap at some point, but... Before we get to the fuel trap, um, we're also going to get a new weapon on this map. And I prefer upgrading that instead. This part is a bit boring because it really only involves traversing this area. Ah, those are not new enemies, we've already seen them, but they can now burrow into the ground. Which only makes them more annoying, not much more dangerous really. Let's just ignore them, I think there's a bunch of three or so of them. Stop hiding from me guys, just attack me. Yeah, all right. If you don't want to, you don't have to. That's a lot of missing shots there. Oh well. Guess I'm a bit rusty. Let's just... Oh no, we don't need to reload. Great, we got the main systems online, but the ISER comm is still down. Check the main radar to the south. It might be the reason. Be careful. The south, eh? Yes, that's definitely the south. Woman, you need to buy a compass. Mm, I'm not sure whether a flamethrower is a good weapon in this uh, area. It's a fun weapon, but it's not a very good weapon, really. At least I don't really like it, because it limits your mobility a lot while firing. Usually when you just... well, let me just show it to you, that makes it a lot faster. There, now I am a lot slower when I'm firing, when I'm shooting it. It also drains ammunition really fast. It also kills fast, but I prefer keeping up my mobility with some of the other weapons, really. I found the main radar. The satellite link is not on the roof. Right, it was probably taken down before the storm. Try to get it back up. Alright. 
Let's see over here. Mm. Nice. I think there's one more. Yep. And that's locked. Okay, and then the other side. That's where the terminal should be. Yes, yes. Is it dead? I'm never entirely sure because you can just keep shooting away at corpses. I'll leave that medikit over there. That's the keycard for the flamethrower, by the way. The radar hatch is broken. Must have been the storm. I'm going to the roof to fix it. God damn, Wesley, you sound severely depressed. I so love the auto shotgun. I mean, it's seven bullets gone in one click, but it's also usually an enemy gone. Let me just see if I got... Uh, I've only got a flamethrower. The next area, the next part is going to be really quite difficult. Uh, no upgrades that are going to help. Uh, let's just go and do it. Okay, I can see the problem. I have to reconnect the wires. Give me a few minutes. I'll be waiting for the signals. There's going to be a lot of enemies that are spawning out. And we have to fix these control boxes. We can reload while fixing them. That's an important thing to keep in mind, really. Instead of backpedaling, sometimes it's more useful to side strafe because these guys jump at you. Well, this is going fairly well, except for the part where I'm not actually repairing anything, of course. Alright, that'll give me some time to breathe. One more to go. You don't want to use the auto shotgun in cases like these. As you might have noticed so far, when you are firing at an enemy and he drops dead, you can still keep firing away at his body. And that means if you use the auto shotgun on a weaker enemy, you're just going to waste a, a huge amount of ammunition on firing at his body. That's not very helpful. That went splendidly. This is one of the few parts where I have died on occasion, actually. Alright, let's head back. But before we do so, let's also grab the health kit, the medikit. And reload a bit. All right, the backpedaling part to the uh, to Jane isn't very interesting. We are going to meet a few. Oh wait. Backpedaling to Jane isn't going to be very interesting. There are a few new spawns that we're going to have to kill, like these guys. Uh, but the cutscene we've just seen isn't uh, going to play out just yet. So let me just skip out the walking. Alright, and we are back. Let's quickly go for, there it is, the flamethrower. That's ah, just a bunch of fuel, but hey, why not? 
and continue the mission series. What the? The short range radar is working, but the ISER comm systems are sending a scrambled signal. Oh, take a look at this. Silver Mountain Base? It's a large military installment hidden in the mountains. This guy Trevor should be able to help us. Tyler, I have a mission for you. I'm going in there. Alone, right? You got it. Once you get there, you should be safe. Find Dr. Trevor. He should be able to recalibrate the systems. When that's done, I'll send the message from here. And Wesley's spiral into depression continues. He already knew what was going to happen. Fighting the aliens always alone. Poor guy. Let's not abandon him. Uh, where do I actually... Oh, jeez, that's a lot of walking. Uh, let me see how I'm going to go there. Oh, well, for our enjoyment, they've spawned a whole bunch of new enemies. There is one upgrade that I'm still interested in right now, which is a shotgun reload. No, I've already gotten that one. And then it is... Um oh, come on. Die already, guys. Just want to see the upgrade. It is a uh, clip extension for the shotgun and clip extension for the pistol. They are not entirely the most useful, but they uh, keep you from reloading all the damn time. Uh, those are more of, mm, let's say, luxury upgrades. That's too far. That is definitely too far. I need to go to the left now, soon. Into a dark place. Patch darker area over here, that should be it. Jeez, I can't see these guys. Sometimes they just walk straight past you. I think that's just their patrol or something. Alright, that's the fiery stuff. Yep, we're right on track. Ah, perhaps I shouldn't have picked that up, the med kit. We weren't really that hurt. Fun, a new enemy type. These aren't that much of a problem to fight, really. I love strafing around them and then auto shotgunning them. First time I went here, I didn't have the auto shotgun, and it makes the fight, these fights, so much easier. If you don't have an auto shotgun, you are going to have to stay at range and really shoot a whole damn lot before they die. It's time to repeat the wall. I like it. And that is our minigun, finally. Now, that's actually what I've been saving up the parts for. Minigun sentry, but we still need seven more. We could have actually went and got the minigun earlier and then made use of it, including the sentry upgrade, if we had the upgrade parts, to make the fight upstairs against, um, against all the creatures at the radar dish a whole lot easier. These new enemies sometimes drop two upgrade packs. So I think we're going to get there quite fast. Yes, only two more and then we've got the placeable minigun.
I really love these open areas compared to the closed off, close quarters battles. I found a big heavy door in here. Must be the entrance to the base. Maximum security. They take it seriously. I'll open the doors. Get inside and find Archer Trevor. And this is again the more claustrophobic kind of battle. Are those explosive barrels? I really don't want to have them. We are going to be fighting in this area and yeah, I don't want to have that stuff next to me when I'm having to shoot at things and being shot at. Shotgun, pulse rifle, I can't go left or right just now. Jane, could you give me some light in here, please? Somehow I don't trust the security. Stay calm, I'm working on it. Easy for you to say. All right. Waiting for something to happen. Let's just take cover behind the crate. That's a lot of noise. Ah, enemies. Nice. And that allows us to upgrade. Lovely. Just in time. Anything else? There should be more, really. Yep, over to the left, I think. Are we going to break this one or that one or both? Jesus, from behind as well. Yeah, let them just come over here. Oh, that's such a nasty spot. wasn't too late or anything. No, not at all. Any clue where I could find the doctor? No clue. Just continue to the lower levels. He must be there somewhere. I opened the side doors for you. Be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both. Yeah, you didn't open all side doors though. Some of these we're going to have to open ourselves. Let's see, I think there was some... Yes, ammo bags. I don't really have to reload anything. More minigun ammo. The, the minigun ammo and the minigun sentry is going to make the uh, last fight on this level terribly trivial, really. Can we break through this? No? Okay. Alright, let's just head on then. Empty and boring corridors. My apologies. <laughs> oh, you've got to be ca Oh, lucky. I thought we couldn't enter through there. Three other engineers went missing. Let's ambush this guy. <laughs> I so love that weapon. Uh, there's nothing much on the other side, I believe. Just an ammo bag and, yeah, just another roundabout like we've had over here. Well, let's head up then. Well, perhaps this is a decent spot for a flamethrower. The lack of mobility is uh, quite noticeable, but you can work around it. On the other hand, then you're still left with a weapon that drains really, really fast. A fuel trap upgrade that we haven't yet got, but which I really want, places um, flamethrower fuel on the ground and then you can ignite it for an AoE damage thing. It's, it's a really useful um, tactical weapon.
I'm seeing movement on the sensor in the uh, right upper corner, but I'm not seeing exactly where it is from. I should be over here then, yes. Hmm, nothing. Eesh, that's a lot. Oh, I feel sorry for them, they got stuck as a group and... Alright, oh, that worked out very nicely. There's one upgrade for the flamethrower which you really don't... Ooh, that's, uh, let's see whether we can ambush that as well. I've once managed to kill them without them getting a single shot off. Didn't go as planned this time, but still quite well. Uh, more ammunition, yes. What was I talking about? Yes, the flamethrower. There's one upgrade for the flamethrower which basically gives you uh, not infinite ammo, but you don't have to reload, ever. And that's not really an upgrade that is very useful. Oh, I forgot that there are creatures here. You don't have to reload the flamethrower all that often anyway, so some of these upgrades just aren't that great. Why am I hearing robotics? That's why. No, I'm not going in there. Actually, let's just place that. And there the minigun fell over. You can still pick it up, of course, as I said earlier. Uh, nope, I just want to ambush you like this. I think all of this is empty. No, a pulse rifle, not that useful. Can we get another upgrade in before we start getting to the next fight? Mm, I really want to save for the fuel trap. So let's do that. I think I found Dr. Trevor. Good. Tell him to activate the calibration systems. I don't think he's capable of that anymore. He notes here, but I can't make anything out of him. He's dead? Damn. Maybe we should restart the mainframe and see what happens. If it doesn't blow up, I'm happy. Damn, you've really lowered your expectations, Wesley. Uh, if it doesn't blow up, that's fine with me. Activated the new security Mac. Yes, that's what we're actually going to meet. Um, how's this area built? This is a roundabout, not a very interesting part. Yep, the windows still work. Oh shit. Getting too joyous about the windows being attacked in the back. The flame trap ability I was talking earlier about, where you spread fuel on the ground and then ignite it, can actually damage you, so you're going to have to be careful with that. You can't just create a flaming sea of fire and fuel and then hope that you're going to come out alive. Well, actually you can, but I wouldn't keep my hopes up. Ha! 
Huh, yeah, okay, I blew that up, but I'm not actually going to go all the way just to pick up one or two pieces of ammo, so nope. Let's just continue with the game. I really prefer getting in the first shot. was over here, ammo bag, health, uh, why not? Oh, getting stuck in some computer screens, this is just law? Yes, unauthorized inbound connection, virus, data, warning. Nothing over there, nope. <laughs> This is going to be so easy that it is silly. It's actually a pretty difficult fight if you don't just... Alright, you should be near the mainframe. Restart the system. Keep your fingers crossed. If you don't rush it with an auto shotgun, a minigun, and then follow it up with another magazine of the pulse rifle. If you do that, it's an incredibly boring and fast fight. No errors found. The system seems operational. I'll take over from here. If there's anyone out there, they'll hear us. Sir, we have received an emergency message from Ganymede. Corporal Jane Arwin. Secure the transmission. My eyes only. Yes, sir. So, next time we are going to have to take care of the evacuation of New Atlantis. But this is it for right now. So, have a good evening and I'll see you next time.